Today I want to talk to you about a new open source web app called ChatGPT Mirror that's been gaining attention in the developer community. In this video we'll go through how to set it up, why you should potentially use it, and how it can be customized to your needs. To get started with ChatGPT Mirror, the first thing that you'll need to do is pull down the repo. Next we're going to grab an API key from OpenAI. Once you've obtained the key, add it to a .env file in the root directory of the repo, just like this. After setting up the API key, create a configuration file that specifies the system message and settings for ChatGPT to use. You you might be wondering why you should consider using ChatGPT Mirror, and I can think of a couple reasons. For those not subscribing to the premium version of ChatGPT, ChatGPT Mirror can serve as a cost-effective way to access some of the more advanced models. The primary advantage, however, is the ability to establish preset contacts for prompts, allowing you to customize ChatGPT according to your specific needs. But before I get into that, I just want to do a little bit of a breakdown of the cost structure. With GPT 3.5 Turbo, the API rate is 0.5. $0.002 per thousand tokens. Assuming an average five tokens per word, you would get around 200 words for every thousand tokens. So you can do a bit of a cost benefit analysis to demonstrate how ChatGPT Mirror could potentially be more affordable depending on your use. There's also a link in the description with an interactive text box where you can get a sense on how many tokens you might need. So back to customizing ChatGPT Mirror. By utilizing the configuration file, you can direct the prompts to generate responses based on the particular topic topic or field that you might be interested in. This means that you can essentially prime ChatGPT Mirror to be customized to your specific needs, whether it's for development tasks or for other purposes. For instance, let's say you want a web developer assistant named DevGPT and you want to use ChatGPT for providing coding suggestions. You can do so with something like this. You could set up the configuration file system message to have context related specific to web development, such as this. By doing so, ChatGPT Mirror will generate responses tailored to your role as as a web developer. Now you can be a lot more specific, so I encourage you to play around with the system message. So there's lots of information on prompt engineering, and if you're not familiar with that, I'd encourage you to take a look at it, because with a good system message, there's the potential to have a pretty tailored assistant to what you need. Now the benefits of this is you might not need to input as much information with each prompt if it already has that primed system message. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and until the next one.